While Lu Fan and Kin Q were looking down, the poisonous mist slowly began to disappear, and it could be seen that beneath the cliff there was a huge spider web, in which there were a bunch of small spiders. He thought that regenerative absorption and collective rage were both impulses for other spiders. In the middle of the spider web was the Spider Queen, who was the boss of this secret realm. It started staring at Lu Fan and its status window appeared. Its name was Howling Spider Mother and it was level 45. It had five abilities, the first one called Spiderweb to trap all. It could shoot a sticky spiderweb that trapped all targets within its range, and after 60 seconds, the targets would die. The second ability was called Poison Injection. It could spray a puddle of poison. Targets within the area would continuously receive damage from toxins, each layer reducing 5% of their health. The third ability was called Regenerative Absorption. It could feed on allied spiders, each devouring restoring 5% of its health. The fourth ability was called Group Frenzy. It made all allied spiders attack the target together. All attributes of the allied spiders increased by 15% for 6 seconds. The fifth ability was called Web Weaver, which increased the spider's movement speed within the range of the spider web. Little by little, the small spiders began to emerge and Lu Fan came to the conclusion that they should first eliminate the other spiders. Aunt Han Ki approached to see, but Kin Q turned her head towards her and with a calm look suggested to her not to look down. The ant clenched both fists, filled with courage, and explained to Kin Q that even though she didn't want to look, she also had to learn so she had to look down. Sio Man, who was holding the tablet with one hand, began to look at Aunt Han Ki with a confused expression and explained to her that even for a combat professional, this was very difficult to watch. Despite the warnings, Aunt Han Ki approached the cliff, started looking down and thought that they were always protecting her. If she couldn't even look down, then she would be nothing more than a burden in battle. As soon as she saw the spiders, she began to feel stomach pain. She approached a tree, rested her hand on a branch, and started vomiting. Kin Q approached her, put her hand on her back, and started to help her. Lu Fan turned his head towards them, closed his eyes, and with a forced smile thought that this was what they called social pressure. Giant Ying approached the cliff, with a calm look she began to look down and she thought that whether it was approaching or eliminating the boss, it was necessary to get rid of the little spiders. Xiao Man turned on the tablet and upon seeing what had appeared, she couldn't help but be shocked. She saw strategies and tips posted in the comments by other teams. Long-range professionals should attract enemies and clear the area before approaching the boss. She was somewhat surprised to see that it would take at least four days to completely clean this secret realm. Aunt Han Ki just vomited, and while holding onto the tree, she started looking at Xiao Man and asked if they were really going to take that long. The food she had brought would only last for one day. She could cook now but didn't know if they were willing to eat roasted spiders. Upon hearing this, Kin Ku began to cry as she did not want to eat spiders. At that moment, Lu Fan caught everyone's attention. He reached his hand towards the sky and with a smile, decided not to follow the strategies of the other teams. Giant Ying started looking at Lu Fan with a confused look and asked if he had another plan in mind. Xiao Man turned on the tablet again and while reading the comments, she asked him what he was saying. Kin Q began to stare at Lu Fan and asked him if he was planning to use Xiao Yi. Lu Fan reached his hand towards the sky, summoning a magical ball that started growing bigger. He looked up at the sky and commanded Xiao Yi to come out and transform into the form of a destructive dragon. Powerful flames appeared, and then Xiao Yi began to manifest herself with a murderous look in her eyes. She opened her mouth and started roaring. Several seconds later, she fully manifested and transformed into the World Destroyer Dragon. She was gigantic, with wings and horns made of fire. Upon seeing the fire dragon, Xiao Man couldn't help but be shocked. She looked at Xiao Yi with a surprised expression and thought that this was what they called a giant dragon. Giant Ying was also shocked. She started looking at Xiao Yi with a surprised look and thought that the dragon's pressure was very intense. The boss spider didn't take long to sense Xiao Yi's presence. It opened its mouth and began to roar, indicating that it was ready to fight. The spider began to stare at Xiao Yi, then it shot some webs towards them and gave the order for the other spiders to attack. Upon hearing its command, the eyes of the other spiders started to glow. While the little dragon Xiao Fei was flying beside Lu Fan, he started looking up at the sky and called out to Xiao Yi. Upon hearing his command, she began to fly and with a murderous look in her eyes, she started staring at the spider boss. With a smile, Lu Fan left Xiao Yi in charge of the little spiders. She opened her mouth, started flying downwards, and vigorously flapped her fire wings, burning the spider webs in the process. He simply watched this silently. 
Then, he reached down with his hand, looked at the spiders and gave Zioe the order to use Great Cataclysm, an ability that allowed her to explode the area where she flew, causing a great amount of damage and burning it. Her wings became enormous, she started flying around the area and began burning everything in her path. While little Zioe was singeing the spiders, everyone approached the cliff. The little dragon climbed onto Lu Fan's head, Aunt Han Ki tightly grabbed his arm, started looking down, and was surprised to see that Zio Yi could transform into this form. Zio Man also began to look down and upon seeing Zio Yi's incredible power, she thought that she was just like a legendary dragon. Zio Yi's power even amazed Giant Ying. She realized that her destructive strength was even more powerful than the legendary dragons. Lu Fan began to look at Zio Fei and with a smile, decided it was time to apply the enhancement effect to Zio Yi. Upon hearing his command, it closed its eyes and started smiling. Little Zio Fei began to fly, and Lu Fan extended his hand towards it, causing the gem that it had on its chest to start shining. Lu Fan used the Emerald Dragon Heritage ability. All skill effects were doubled for those with Dragon Ancestry and Common Blood. Then he also used Emerald Light, and last but not least, he also used Dragon's Inspiration, inspiring himself and the Dragon Pet, increasing all attributes and attack power by 30%. In a matter of seconds, the buffs reached Zio Yi who was flying. She spread her hands to the sides and began to roar. Her wings exploded and became even larger, burning the small spiders that were nearby in the process. She was Zio Yi, the level 17 Black Dragon, thanks to the buffs from little Zio Fei. Her strength increased to 2937 points, agility increased to 4117 points, spirit increased to 9902 points, and endurance increased to 5728 points. Upon seeing this, the boss spider decided not to stay idle. Its eyes shining brightly, it began to roar, causing the small spiders to start climbing up the cliff. Lu Fan placed his hand on Han Ki's shoulder, started looking at Kin Kyu, and asked her if she could protect Auntie. She tightly gripped the staff and with a determined look, reassured him not to worry as they were going to protect Han Ki. The little dragon Zio Fei began to fly. Lu Fan unsheathed his dagger, looked at the spider boss, and with a smile asked Giant Ying to get ready, they were going to move forward and defeat the spider queen. Giant Ying extended her hands to the sides, making the three swords appear. The small spiders began to climb the cliff. Upon seeing this, Lu Fan and Giant Ying jumped down and prepared to attack. The spiders started attacking, but with little effort, Lu Fan began to finish them off using his dagger. Giant Ying decided not to stay behind. She also started using her swords and began cutting the spiders into pieces. Several seconds later, while the pieces of the spider corpses were falling to the ground, they both reached the bottom of the cliff. Upon seeing this, the spiders in the area began to approach them and prepared to attack. Upon seeing this, with a serious look, Lu Fan shouted and asked Zio Yi to come by his side. Upon hearing the order, Zio Yi began to descend towards the ground and used the second phase of the skill Great Cataclysm, which allowed her to descend towards the target and cause a great amount of damage. She landed on the ground, opened her mouth, and started roaring, creating a huge explosion of fire that killed many small spiders. Lu Fan and Giant Ying began to advance towards the Spider Queen, and Zio Fei started to follow them. Two system windows appeared, the little emerald dragon reached level 4, and Zio Yi used the third phase of the Great Cataclysm skill, which allowed her to detonate in the fire area. While the flames were burning the spiders, Giant Ying began to look back and thought that Zio Yi's three phases of ability were incredible. Being so close to the dragon, she felt like she was about to be consumed by the blazing flames. Lu Fan turned his head back and with a worried look, he asked Kin Kyu and the others if they were okay. While the spiders were climbing up, Zio Man began to cut them using her sword. Kin Kyu extended the magic staff towards the spiders and while it was glowing, she reassured Lu Fan not to worry about them as she and Zio Man would be fine. Lu Fan gained momentum and began to advance towards the spider queen, and with a serious look, he asked Giant Ying to follow him as it was time to end this. Giant Ying, Zio Yi, and Zio Fei started following him. Upon seeing this, the spider queen decided not to stay idle. It opened its mouth and prepared to attack. It used the Venom Injection ability and sprayed a puddle of poison towards them, but luckily they reacted in time and moved aside, dodging the attack in the process. He knew that this was very dangerous, so he reached out his hand towards Giant Ying and gave Zio Fei the order to use Emerald Light. Zio Fei obeyed him and used the skill, causing three green leaves to appear above her head. 
Jianin started looking at Lu Fan with a surprised look and couldn't help but wonder why he was so concerned about her. While he was distracted, the Spider Queen opened its mouth and used the web ability that caught everything and threw a spider web towards him. He turned his head back and upon seeing this, he thought that this was not good. He moved to one side and using the dagger, he cut the spider web, although in the process, the attached web cut his cheek. He clenched his teeth tightly and upon seeing blood, he thought that this was not good. The drops of blood began to come out from his cheek and while they were floating in the air, he started looking at the Spider Queen and gave Zio Yi the order to attack now. Little Zio Fei started looking at the blood and couldn't help but stick out its tongue as it seemed delicious to it. It flew towards the blood, opened its mouth, and caught the blood. Then, it closed its mouth and drank Lu Fan's blood. Zio Yi and Lu Fan began to stare at the Spider Queen and he gave her the order to use Annihilation of all things. Upon hearing this, she extended her hands to the sides, opened her mouth, and started roaring. She began flapping her wings, releasing four fire tornadoes that inflicted great damage on the affected targets. With a surprised look, Jianying began to gaze at the flames, and upon realizing that she also had more abilities, she couldn't help but be shocked and think that her power to unleash natural disasters could definitely destroy cities and even countries. Zio Yi started flapping her wings, burning all the little spiders in the process. They began to walk, and Jianying thought this was incredible because with her own strength alone, she had almost eliminated all the spiders. While Zio Yi was flying, several system windows appeared. Zio Fei leveled up to level 5 and acquired a new ability called Emerald Blessing, which allowed it to apply three layers of Emerald Dragon Breath to the target, increasing the damage of the next three attacks. Lu Fan clenched his teeth tightly and started looking towards the spiders, asking Zio Fei to use the skill. Zio Fei followed the order, but at that moment, the gem on its chest began to glow. Lu Fan started to look at Zio Fei and upon seeing this, he couldn't help but feel somewhat confused and began to wonder what was happening. Zio Fei started floating and its body began to shine and change shape. Lu Fan put his hand in front of his eyes, closed one eye, and started wondering if it was going to transform. Zio Fei's body began to transform, first growing wings, then the tail became larger, and then it started to take on a human form. Zio Fei transformed into a girl with green hair. Several seconds later, Lu Fan removed his hand from his eyes, opened them, and thought that this was just like before when Zio Yi had gained a new form and powerful abilities. This is the end of the video. If you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.